Hi, 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 Bernie here, Bernie Bloom, CEO and founder of Ansel. And this video is about something really exciting, which is called the Ansel Nano. You will learn everything, why we came up with that, how we came up with that, and what it means for you and what you could use it for. So the Ansel Nano, I talked in my previous video that we migrated everything from a Gen 2 based OS to a CentOS based OS. So with that new CentOS approach, we thought, well, we can also compile our Edge Linux and, and, and CentOS based Edge Linux on ARM architecture. We are actually a big believer in the ARM architecture. We believe on server sides, the ARM architecture has a bright future. And um, so we looked into ARM and it works um, like a charm. So we thought like, what ARM hardware could we use to uh, demonstrate that? And, you know, we came up with the Ansel Nano and it's exciting. It's here. <laughs> So here's the Ansel Nano, and you can see those fins here and everything. It's that proven fanless design that you all know from our Ansel One line. Um, we've used that same approach here. It's completely fanless, and it has four gigabytes of RAM. Um, it has a quad-core processor, and um, it has hardware virtualization, 64-bit architecture. Um, it comes with storage on that micro SD card, 512 gigabytes, so half a terabyte of storage on this nano device. And it's all turnkey, right? It comes with the storage, with the power supply, um, with the, the case, which is the heatsink, just as we have in the Ansel One. So it's a super cool thing and it runs Edge Linux with all the enterprise features, right? So we have that software-defined networking on there. We have, you know, the clustering on there, the, the, the multi-device management, and we have that turnkey aspect, right? So the SD card's already in, you just boot it, and Edge Linux Ant-Man is pre-installed. Um, we have a proven ZFS on there. You can create those snapshots instantaneously. You can create templates and everything. So that is super cool stuff. So there's many use cases where, you know, such a device will actually do work in production or um, in development for you guys. Um, it can also be, you know, an entry device to get to know Edge Linux and Ant-Man. And um, we're going to have a super cool deal uh, for this one. You will basically get it for free. <laughs> but I don't want to say it right now because it's going to be our, our um, Black Friday deal. So watch out for that one. We want to know what use cases would you see for such a device. We can cluster them together. We have all the clustering functionality in there. And uh, please comment down below. Um, what use case you guys see for the Ansel Nano, which obviously, I mean, many of you have seen that it's based on the Raspberry Pi 4. So it has that ARM V8 hardware virtualization, 64-bit architecture, um, quad core. So it's based on the Pi 4, but it comes as a turnkey solution with those, you know, the heat sinks, just as with, with our Ansel 1. Um, with, uh, with the storage, with the OS pre-installed, and, um, and with the power supply. And by the way, it has two HDMI ports, 4K, so you can, power, you can run two 4K monitors using HDMI here. You have two USB 3, two USB 2, and you have a gigabit um, Ethernet all on board. Please comment about the use cases um, the question, obviously, that has been asked is like, when is it going to be available? The hardware is there, as you see, so um, we, can, we can ship it um, in volume. We've ported our CentOS-based Edge Linux onto this one. It's going to be ready in January. We have ZFS working on this one. We have open, the Open vSwitch integration working on this one, all the clustering. Uh, one small thing we're still working on is the KVM, so porting KVM to this device using the hardware virtualization of the ARM V8 
um, is something we're still working on. Ship these things in January, maybe even some of them in, in December. Um, if we can't get the KVM running by then, we're going to ship them anyway. And you can use Edge Linux Ant-Man just with the bare metal containerization, um, the LXC antlets, and then the KVM. Once we have it, it's just going to be a free software upgrade. Um, but we hope to have the KVM ready by January, so we're quite confident about that. This is the Ansel Nano, super exciting stuff. Let us know in the comments what you think. Give us the like button to help the YouTube algorithm to get the word out to as many people as possible. And um, yeah, happy Anseling. See you next time. Bye.